Hi, this is Brian Gilman with Scout Support. In this video, we're going to cover some of the basics around the Top Shelf Inventory Management application. First, let's talk about what Top Shelf is and how it's different than other software applications. Top Shelf is a cloud-based inventory management system. This means that all information is updated in real time without having the need to sync. All data is also backed up on our enterprise class servers. Top Shelf is web-based, so there's nothing to install. Simply open up a web browser and log in. Lastly, Top Shelf is designed for Google Chrome and is a recommended browser. Now let's talk about some of the apps that are used when working with Top Shelf. The first is the main administration page. This is the area where you will perform all of your administrative tasks, such as creating users, parts, viewing transactions, printing pick lists, and so on. To access the main admin page, navigate to login.scoutsft.com in your web browser. The other side to Top Shelf are the fulfillment apps. These are designed for the people in the warehouse performing tasks like picking, shipping, adding and removing inventory. One of the ways to access the fulfillment side of Top Shelf is through a smartphone app. These are available on either Apple or Android devices or on any device with a web browser. You can download the app from either iTunes or Google Play or access the site directly by going to mobile.scoutsft.com. If you have a higher volume in your warehouse, we recommend using a handheld barcode scanner such as a Datalogic Scorpio X3 or Falcon X3. These devices are rugged and are designed for any day-to-day -day warehouse use. One of the first things you'll receive from Top Shelf after coming on board is your intro email. This is going to be sent by either your Scout sales rep or your Scout support rep. This contains the main administrator login credentials. You'll want to hold on to these. The password for the main administrator cannot be changed. The main administrator account is only used for the web, not for handheld scanners or smartphones. After we've received the email, let's open up a web browser and go to login.scoutsft.com and log in. Enter in your credentials in the email. The first time you log in, you'll be presented with the end user license agreement. Please read through this and click agree at the bottom. The first screen you'll see is the main administrator homepage. From here you'll have a list of recent transactions, reporting, getting started topics, but also the main menu bar at the top. This is where you can search through your various objects, create, enter the reporting section, and perform administrative tasks. Also there's a link to the help guide here that has a lot of helpful tips on getting started with Top Shelf. The first thing we want to do is set up a user to log in with. Remember that the main admin user that we logged in with is only useful for the web, not for any scanning devices or smartphone. To set up a user, go to Admin, Users, and we'll see here that the main admin is built in, but we want to add another one. So click the Add button, enter in all the information here. I've jumped ahead and filled out the required fields. The main fields here are going to be the web username, which is going to be what you're going to use to log into the main admin site or the mobile application. Notice that it's Brian at training. The device username is what's going to be used to log into the mobile barcode scanners like the Scorpios or the Falcons. You need a valid email to enter, and then also pick what security group you want the user to be in. We can go over the security groups a little bit later. Click Save. An email is now being sent to the email provided. Before we take a look at the email, let's take a look at the user that was just created. Notice that there are no licenses assigned to that user. Only the main administrator will have access to assign user licenses. This will define which access the user has. For this user, we're going to give the user access to device, mobile, and the web. You can restrict access by unchecking any of these. Click Save. Notice that the user now has the appropriate licenses. Now let's take a look at the email that was generated by the system. It'll provide me with a link to the login page, my username, and my temporary password. Copy this password for use when logging in. Navigate back to Top Shelf and enter in the credentials provided in the email. Paste the temporary password and click Login. And the system is going to ask you to change your temporary password. Please note the security requirements for the password as well. Click Log Out and log in with the new credentials. Now let's take a look at the security group that we gave to that user. Navigate up to Admin User Groups. 
and you can see that Brian is under the admin group. If we click edit, we'll see the permissions available for that group. These are all the functions within Top Shelf that can be turned on or off, depending on which security access you want the user to have. Typically, the admin group will have all permissions, so you want to use the Select All button and click Save. You can set up as many user groups as you want and define different permissions for different roles. Now that we've set up a user to log in with, we want to start setting up your company and your warehouse. Top Shelf considers your company a client, so to create your company in the system, navigate up to Create Client and enter in the required fields. The client name will be your company name. If you don't have an account number for your company, you can use the same name as the client name. You can provide an email that's associated with your company and also a logo URL that's hosted that can be used on custom forms and documents. Click Save. The next thing to set up is going to be our location or our warehouse. Click the Locations button to add a new location. After clicking the Add button, you'll be brought to the location screen. You want to enter in a location name. Notice here I've entered Training Warehouse since this is a warehouse location. You want to enter in any contact information that's associated with this location, any address information, you're going to want to mark it as active and is depot. A depot location specifies that this location tracks inventory. An example of a non-depot location would be a client that you ship product to. You're going to want address information for that client, but you're not necessarily tracking inventory for that client. Once finished, click Save. The next step after setting up your warehouse location is going to be to set up some bins in Top Shelf. A bin is simply a location within Top Shelf where you store product. It can be either a shelf, a room, an entire building, whatever works best for your organization. If you want some more examples on bins, please see the help guide. To create a bin, navigate up to Create Bins. Specify what location you're creating that bin. We're going to create it in the warehouse. And typically a bin will have a numbering system like rows and shelves. For this one, we're going to set up row A spot 001 and click Save. Now we have an area in Top Shelf to store inventory in. You can either create bins manually or you can use the Snap Import Export tool to import a large amount of bins at once. Please see the help guide for more information on Snap. Let's go over a summary of what we've gone over in this first training video. We've gone over logging in for the first time and what to do with the main admin user. We've created a user and a user group and assigned permissions and licenses to those users. We've gone over setting up your warehouse, which includes setting up a client, location, and a bin. In our next volume, we're going to go over setting up a part and entering inventory into the system. If you have any questions about setting up Top Shelf or any topics that are covered in this video, please give us a call and ask for a support rep. You can also visit www.scoutsft.com or visit the help section when logged into Top Shelf.